Hi guys, welcome back to Get The Gloss. Today I'm going to talk to you about a subject very close to my heart, which is fitness. Now, um, some of you might know that um, over the last, say, three years, I have gone from very average fitness to being probably quite fit. I did two triathlons last year, I cycled around Ibiza. I absolutely love fitness. It has really transformed um, my life, really. I, it makes me feel better. I think it makes me look better. Um, it clears my head, it helps me de-stress. Um, when I have done um, intense exercise, I feel that my, um, the to-do list in my brain suddenly sort of disappears or reorders itself and everything just feels good with the world. Um, I feel a lot less stressed, I don't worry as much about things. Um, I find it so helpful in so many ways, it makes me eat better, I can highly recommend it. And uh, so today I'm going to talk to you about, well firstly motivation and secondly some of the kit that I love at the moment. Basically um, motivation. This time of year it's quite hard to get going, it's still cold in the mornings and people say to me, Suze how the hell do you motivate yourself? Well, I guess I don't think about how it feels at the time. I feel about how I will feel once I have done the workout and almost like the goal it's getting me towards. I mean, a lot of the time I don't feel like going out and exercising. But you have to override that feeling that I'd rather, and that voice in your head that says, sit on the sofa, stay here, watch telly, you know, browse the internet. You've got to override that voice and just go out, like almost ignore it, just walk out the door. Um, one of the best tips I ever had was from a lady called Ruth Field who wrote this book called Run Fat Bitch Run and she basically just said get your trainers on, close the door, once you're outside the door you're outside and it's too embarrassing, not necessarily embarrassing because you might live, you know, no one might be able to see you but you would feel stupid then going back inside and you've made all the effort to get outside that you've just got to go. She also says just start walking. If you can't bother to run, start walking. Once you've started walking for a bit, you might just think to yourself, why start running now? Because you might as well, since you're out. So um, that's one of my, my best tips, is literally the Nike phrase, just do it, says it all. Just do it, don't think about it and you'll feel amazing afterwards. I also love the phrase, no one ever regretted a workout, because that is just so true. Like, um, you never go for a workout or a fitness class or go to the gym and then think, oh God, I wish I'd never done that. You will always feel amazing, always. So you might as well go and do it. And there's research that says, and I know this to be true, because I know it in myself, that um, if you take an hour out to exercise, you are far more efficient than the people that didn't take the hour out to exercise. So anyone that says to you, um, you're wasting your time, whatever, it's absolute bullshit. You are not. It's very, very beneficial to you in so many ways. If you think about how it gets the blood pumping around your body, that's just one thing. And how that then affects the neurons in your brain and affects the cells in your body and um, can help with fertility and can help with everything. Everything gets pumping and everything becomes alive. So I can't think of a negative thing to say about exercise other than if you do it badly, you might get injured. That's a whole other story. I've been there as well. I've snapped a ligament in my knee. I've done all sorts of things. But yeah, just get out there and do it. Also get a playlist. Playlist is essential. Get one of those little eye shuffles. They're not that expensive. Um, a playlist can help you in so many ways because you can run to the beat so it encourages you on the beat. Also when the song like lifts, it lifts your spirit. Yeah, it's amazing. And don't drag yourself out doing something you absolutely hate. Join a um, dance class, do yoga, do whatever you like. Um, but I would probably mix it up. I'm training for a triathlon this year and the one thing that I love about that is the variety of different sort of disciplines. So you can swim and you bike and you run and so no, no day is ever the same and then sometimes I go boxing, sometimes I do hit sessions with a trainer and yeah, I, I 
yeah, I, lo I love it and I try and fit it into my life as much as I can. Oh, and that's one thing. People that say I can't fit it in. Um, if I can fit it into my life, which is madness, I commute into London, run, get the gloss, have two kids, um, you can fit it into yours. I think the thing is, if you really want to do it, you can fit it in. So I really want to do it, so I would even go, I've been known to go to the gym at 10 o'clock at night. Um, I think it helps that once you're on your way, you feel better about doing it. So, um, and you can see changes and that's inspiring. But So it's the initial kind of couple of months you've got to get through and just remind yourself that. You've got to get through those, those first two months. You start seeing changes, you start losing weight if you've got weight to lose, you start toning up, you start seeing definition where you've never had it before and you start feeling better. And once you've kind of cracked those first couple of months, um, they say it takes six weeks to make a change or change habits then I really think you're on your way, so just stick with it. One of the ways also of being motivated, I would say, is to get some snazzy new kit. Now, um, I love training gear. I've got about as much training gear these days as I have, like, normal clothes. <laughs> um, some of my favourite things at the moment. Okay, I'll tell you. These leggings, these are from Sweaty Betty. I don't know if you can see these. They're like this, like that. They're kind of a, almost like a snakeskin print. Da, da, da. you see that? So, um, yeah, I love those. Um, always wear these socks from Sweaty Betty. Sweaty Betty socks, I think, are the best. They are in nice colours. They kind of go with your clothes, which is nice. They're not too strange. And they don't look too boyish either. So, yeah, I wear different things from different price brackets. One of my favourite tops at the moment is this one from H&M. I like it because it's got a racer back um, and it's not skin tight which is beneficial in many ways. Um, this is also from H&M, um, which I think is a really nice colour. Literally like, I think seven pounds, nine pounds. Other vest tops I really like. Um, I've got these in lots of different colours. They're vests from Sweaty Betty with a racer back. Um, talking of racer backs, you've got to get yourself a good sports bra. It is absolutely imperative, um, especially if you're going running, constant pounding on the pavement. Um, the best are Shock Absorber, by far. I have to say, I don't wear them all the time. I wear different ones from Sweaty Betty. But Shock Absorber, literally, they, they do up in two places, at the top and underneath. So that you, um, so it really hoists you in. The personal trainer once told me that if you stretch the ligament that leads down here to your, your boobs, basically, once that's stretched, it's stretched. So you've got to look after your boobs. Don't... Uh, keep them hoisted in when you go running, especially if you are a larger size. Um, don't use big boobs as an excuse for not training. <laughs> I love this sports bra though. That is from Nike, some amazing stuff um, they're doing at Nike at the moment. Um, these leggings are from Nike. Really, really larry. Um, I think I shock a few people sometimes, like I'm on the train platform in the morning wearing these and everyone's wearing like grey and black and brown and I think people are sort of staring at me. These are from Lucas Hue, I'm such a big fan of Lucas Hue, amazing leggings. If you can see here, they really hold you in, they've got this amazing waistband. So it starts at your middle and then comes down and so it literally sucks you in at the sides, the muffin top, the tummy, everything. Um, kind of disappears when you wear them. They're brilliant. Um, little pocket at the back for keeping a phone in or keys or whatever. Um, and they're seamless. And they use really, really high technology fabrics and, um, you know, creative manufacturing process. And, yeah, love those. My favourites. Favourite leggings bar none. I've got them in black and purple, um, which are amazing. Uh, another amazing brand is this one. It's called Hey Joe. Not quite sure why it's called Hey Joe, but it is. Lovely leggings. They're this beautiful silky fabric with gold zips. Gold zip at the back. Really beautiful. They come in red, yellow, green, emerald. The most beautiful colours. Expensive, but amazing. Um, Sportswear has become so cool now that um, kind of anything goes. I used to feel embarrassed getting on the tube in London in my um, leggings. Now I just don't care. 
Love these from um, Adidas. Adidas are coming up with some really great stuff. Love these. I haven't worn them yet this year. Oh, I went on holiday and wore them. But they'll be coming out in the summer. Um, and then trainers. Absolutely in love with these Adidas trainers. They're called the Ultra Boost. Now, I always used to run in Asics. Still love my Asics. But at the moment, I have switched to these. And they fit my feet like a glove. They literally feel like you are um, gliding on air. Really love them. And I like the colourway because they sort of go with everything. Um, I like the detail. I like the little gold bit here. Um, some very clever technology has gone into them too. Um, they say it's like your best run ever. They feel amazing. They're super light. And I can highly recommend them to anyone. Um, what next? A foam roller. Um, a crazy piece of kit. Um, basically, you lie on it and roll out your muscles. It is painful. God, it's painful. Um, if your muscles are tight, it's more and more painful. Um, some of them are smooth, but these ones, I quite like these ones, they've got nodules on that really get into your muscles. I bought it on Amazon. It hasn't got a make on it, annoyingly, so I can't tell you what it is, but if you go on Amazon, you'll find the best price ones. Um, there's some really expensive ones, but I got this one cheaper. You might think that having tight muscles is just like, oh, having tight muscles. But actually, my tight muscles can be really damaging. It actually pulls my knee out of alignment. Um, then I have all sorts of problems with my knee. So, very essential. And then last but not least, boxing gloves. I love boxing. It has become one of my favourite ways to exercise. Um, I go boxing with a guy called Steve Meller in uh, London, who's a personal trainer, but I also box with a, a guy out um, near where we are um, in Oxfordshire. He's called Dazza and he owns a, um, a spit and sawed off boxing club, basically. And it's like so basic. It's got a ring, it's got sort of um, really old weights, it's got pictures of Muhammad Ali all over the walls, and it's hardcore, and I'm about the only girl in there but it's such an amazing workout. And it's not about smacking the crap out of something. It's not really about that. It's about um, precision, basically. That's what it is. Um, it's about hitting a moving target. You can't really take your eye off the ball, basically. And I literally forget where I am for like a whole hour um, when I'm boxing. And it's also a really tough workout. Um, and you're twisting a lot, so it's really good for your core. Um, a lot, that's why there's a lot of models who have like got into it. Um, but anyway, I'm going to do another vlog about boxing. But this is a jab, this is an uppercut, uh, this is a hook, and what else? Oh, and that's a body blow. Don't know if you can see that. Um, and these gloves are from Everlast, and I bought them on Amazon. Um, so anyway, please tell me all your recommendations below of the fitness stuff that you love. As ever, love to hear from you. Um, and please subscribe to Get The Gloss TV. We've got loads of great videos coming up. And um, we'll see you very soon. Thanks, guys.